Now we are taking the next two, the Afiola trick tips. So we are taking this. This is Okay, what are the spellings for this sound? That is the first spelling. We take the word cell, where it appears initially, reset medially, and then we have case it's at the end. Any other spelling? Yes. We have cell pronounced exactly the same way as this, but of course, meaning dif uh, different words. It also appears medially as an ulcer, and then we have at the end pace. We can add more words, we can add here soon. Say, and we can add here knees. Okay, now let's take any other spelling because yes, we have, we can say, for example, as in psychology, psychology, so meaning that that word, the PS is what you have for the spelling. The PS is what you have for the spelling. Alright, so we have yet another spelling. Yes, we have letter X. Remember what we said the other time about tax. Tax. In the word tax, you have X. So meaning that the sound is there as clustering with K. It's forming a cluster with K. But that means it is there. So, there are other ones you can add on your own. Remember, I added wax the other time. You can also add ax. So, if you have the sound in those words appearing as letter x. So, these are the examples of the spellings we have for the letter, I mean, for the sounds. Having said that, is there anything we need to note here? Yes, we have things to note. Uh, we'll note it briefly here, and also mention it in the next sound that uh, I start with this one when the letter S. comes after voice sounds is pronounced so we have just some examples let's take bags now we have these now we have fans. We can have men. The point is that this letter S in plural formation is coming after voiced sound. So it's no longer, it's not pronounced as S, rather, it's pronounced as Z. As we will mention this, these examples later. On in the next uh, for the next sound, so you want to say take note. Let's call this note one, note one, uh, because we'll note another thing about this sound. So we have seen this sound, we have noted that once you, when you see the S after uh, voiced voice sounds in plural formation, it is not pronounced as. It's rather pronounced as Z. Uh, but that means too that if it's coming after a voiceless sound, it will be 
let's take in this it is that is what is in this because it's voiceless so it will remain that's the point so you want to take note of this uh, when we look at this issue again under the next hand I'll bring out something else uh, I'll mention something else about it so let us take our note 2 <laughs> 